advice or advice? What's the difference? Hey friends, this is Miss Sarah from Why Not Academy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to give you some BS grammar lesson. Let's go. Every year, I see students making this grammar mistake in their writing. Let me explain it once and for all. For the word advice with a C, part of speech is a noun. It means an opinion that someone gives you about what you should or should not do. For example, Miss Sarah gave me some good advice. Here, I'm using it as a noun, something I give to my students, to you guys. As you may have noticed, advice is uncountable. There is no plural form for the word. So we should say, Miss Sarah gave me some good advice. We don't say some good advices, but we'll get back to that. Moving on, advice with the letter S. Part of speech is a verb. It means to give people some information. For example, Miss Sarah advised her students to listen more. So far, so good, right? Now, take a look at these two sentences. Which one is correct? She advised them to eat more vegetables. Or she advised them to eat more vegetables. I hope you picked number two. Advice here should be used as a verb. So advice with an S. Now take a look at these two sentences. Which one is correct? This video is full of good advices on learning English. This video is full of good advice on learning English. What do you think? The answer is number two again. Advice is uncountable. So whenever you see advices, it's got to be wrong. Type it out on your Word document. You get a blue underline. That's because your grammar is off. Earlier I said advice is uncountable. So you cannot say an advice, but some advice. But what if you really want to emphasize the amount of advice you have and even some advice is not good enough for you? Then you can add the phrase piece off in front. For example, I have three pieces of advice for you. Take the time to note down these tips. Write them down on your notebook. Practice writing sentences using advice as a noun and advice as a verb. There you go. This is your BS grammar lesson. I know what you're thinking. Not that BS, it's bite size. I hope you find this video useful. Give me a thumbs up or type me an emoji and don't make this mistake again. If you want to learn more advanced vocabulary, check out my work gym here. Having a strong vocabulary can increase your confidence and your ability to express yourself effectively. See you tomorrow for another BS Grammar lesson. Bye for now.